Good morning, Schwad. Welcome to another episode of season four here. This time we are parked, um, waiting for Little Cottonwood Canyon to open. They've announced another foot of snow, which is just insane. It's just been pow day after pow day. But because of that, Little Cottonwood uh, has been closed for avalanche danger. They are estimating reopening time of eight o'clock, which is right now. Joe and I decided to risk coming down here. The problem is it's usually tough to get up here. So we're gonna see if we can you know, see what happens. I think we're in a pretty good spot in terms of where we are in the line. We did leave kind of early. So I either brought my White Walker 121s or my ARG 133s just to give you guys an idea of how deep it is. I mean, the JJ at this point is essentially like a GS ski. I either have my skinny White Walkers or my fat ARGs today. So it should be pretty sick. <music> We left Park City today at about 6.40 and we got to the mouth of Little Cottonwood at, uh, I wanna say right around 7.30. We didn't actually end up getting to Snowbird until about 9.30. So even once they opened the road, almost took us three hours to drive like over the ridge to Snowbird. But important part is we're here, we're made, we made it. You guys ask me all the time, is Luna four wheel drive or two wheel? Luna is two wheel drive but she actually does quite well in the snow. They reported 13 inches in 12 hours, 15 inches in 24. The sick part is they're closing Little Cottonwood again at 11 o'clock for more av avalanche work. So it's gonna be closed in the middle of the day. So if you're not up here by then, kind of get snubbed out. So gonna be an all time day and I am using the 133s today because I just think it's a day that warrants it. So Joe's gonna be on the White Walkers. I'm gonna be on the ARGs, first time on them. I'm just super stoked. Other than being an absolute beast, it's a 133 underfoot, um, is that it's what's called a, a reverse side cut ski. So typically with a ski, it's wide at the, the tip, gets in narrow underneath the foot, and then widens out again. This ski is the exact opposite. It's narrow at the top, gets really wide underneath your foot, and then gets re-narrow. So it's a 125 at the top, and then 133 in the middle, and then 120 at the, the tip, the tails. And so the idea with that is that the widest part of the ski is underneath your foot to give you maximum flotation on the snow. And kind of hard, hard to tell here, but the rocker on this thing is insane. It happens right above the toe piece and right behind the heel piece. So this ski is only meant to ride POW and POW only. So today it should be dope. However, we just waited probably like a good hour in the tram, my longest tram line I've ever stayed in. And it's because um, of all the snow, they're trying to clear some stuff off. So they actually aren't loading the tram to full capacity. So still all good, Sa safety's the, the priority, but we're up here, the upper cert is open. So it should be pretty epic. First little pass through on the ARG should be rad, I'm stoked.
Look at how much these float. Oh yeah, we're going to Mach and then yeah. we're cutting across, okay. Yeah. Mogul's on the 133. Oh, oh, oh. That felt really good. You think so? Yeah. God, that is so deep.
thick line. It's been a gnarly day of ripping up here. Definitely in the storm. It's been super windy, super low vis up here at the top of Hidden Peak. Um, and it's kind of like doing all you can just to get down off the, the main areas into the chutes. But snow is just unreal. Um, been enjoying the ARGs. Took me a little bit to get used to. It's definitely a, a, a really different ski, especially different than the White Walker and the JJ. Um, but it is an incredible ski in the powder. Like it is what it's what it's meant to do. But I'm surprised at its maneuverability, even in some of the tight stuff. I mean, it's definitely not a ski you want to be using every day or in sort of variable conditions. But the point is even when you're kind of skiing to different areas, it's still a very capable ski, but it's uh, super heavy is the one thing I noticed about it. But the benefit of that is that it's really able to power through just about anything. So um, been having a lot of fun on them. I'm looking forward to using these more and more. Epic day. We worked for it. I mean, the elements are tough, no question, but powder, wind, great snow. Uh, just great terrain, man. It's just a snowbird. There's not much more else to say than that, you know. Do you have but, advice for anyone who, do you have advice for people skiing in conditions like this, whether it's deep pow or low visibility, stuff like that? I mean, it's, I, every run you got to be careful. Always be focused. Always be cognizant of the terrain. Watch the watch the terrain changes as best you can. Uh, the the dips and the whoop de doos man, they can get your attention in a hurry. So the real deal is a buddy system. Pay attention to the terrain. You guys have wanted more videos, more advice, more tips from Papa Joe, so maybe we'll start incorporating them. Um, and, but conditions like this, I, mean, I think a lot of it just comes down to experience. It's hard to teach someone or teach things um, when it's a, a pure whiteout and stuff like this, but uh, it's, it's always worth it. And riding the storm is always some, way more special than coming on the Bluebird day the day after. Being in here while it's actually storming is a lot of fun. So. each other when we get down. You good? Yeah.
Yeah, what's up, man? How you doing? Good to see you, dog. What's your name? Alex. Alex? Alex? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, dude. Had ski in, ski out. So they closed Little Cottonwood Canyon around 11 o'clock this morning to do avalanche work. They had a slide across the road. Um, so the canyon's been closed for a little while and they had just opened it up, but they've done it in a way that's kind of like a free for all. Typically, they stagger the openings from the resort so it's not as congested but right now they're just like it was 4 30 they're like we're all open um and so now everyone's coming down from elta it's like it's chaos right now so do you guys need a shovel because it's kind of a mess right here and we have like a turn and then uphill i'm gonna throw the chains on just so we can get ourselves out of this and then crawl down i really don't think we need them but with how slow the traffic's going and everything um i think it's just a smart thing to do so chaos out here. Papa Joe's helping shovel out this person. This person just got stuck in front of me now too. What we need to do is we are gonna have to come out of here, make this turn, and then come up here. But the whole Alta bypass isn't open, so everyone from Alta is still here, <laughs> and then coming up this way. So I think putting chains on is just the move. <laughs> That's that's kind of all I wanted to do. Now I have at least I have more room to make the swing. But I don't even know if we necessarily like had to put them on. It was like we were really stuck, but it just gets so sloppy, so messy. And it's like last thing you want to do is be that person uh, stuck in the side of the road. So it was a little tricky because we had cars all around us and stuff. But we're rolling with the chain smacking. I honestly think we could take them off. Like yeah, me too. Pretty soon up here. It's, yeah. Because the road is, We're all down is fine. Down. Those of you who don't know, Snowbird had upgraded their trams at the start of this year. So they had the same cable car tram for a long time. And it, it looked like, I don't want to say they were having trouble with the tram because, I, you know, I don't know if that's necessarily true or not. But they weren't loading the tram to full capacity because they said with all the recent snowfall, um, it just seemed like there was some stuff going on with the tram. So... The day took, um, it felt like it took longer than I'm used to at the bird. Um, honestly, the lines like weren't bad. It just, um, they weren't moving very quickly. So we, even though we skied right to the last tram, I think we probably only did six or seven runs, which is still a lot. But um, I think the highlight of the whole day, other than just how epic snow conditions, being out there with my dad, all that sort of, at this point, it's becoming normal. But the ARG Mark IIs, um, were a really fun ski to use. I was a little bit timid with them because it is such a different ski um, the reverse side cut that I mentioned but to be honest in terms of a pow ski it is it is the king when it comes to skiing pow. It is a full rocker ski um, which basically means the ski starts coming up for lack of a better term right away so it just instantly floats over the snow like without even trying. The ski was super super stiff like on the stiffness scale, it's 9 out of 10. Like, it's right there. Um, has an edge all the way around the ski. No smear tech. So, different characteristics um, of the Armada that I'm not used to um, when I use my JJ or the White Walker. So, that's why in terms of, like, being butter-friendly and a little bit more freestyle-oriented, I felt like the ski 
might have lacked a little bit. It is super heavy on your feet. Um, literally feels like you have two planks of wood. But um, that stiffness also um, allows you to charge pretty hard down the mountain. It can just kind of plow through anything in its way. So really fun ski. And I personally thought I skied it pretty well, um, even on the runs that were a bit more mogul-y and stuff like that. Like all around, I had a lot of fun on the ski, and I'm stoked that it's in the quiver um, because on deep pow days, that's the ski I'm probably going to be taking out to just kind of surf around the mountain. But um, obviously not one of those skis you pick up um, to just to do some everyday resort riding. Uh, you really need to have a good amount of snowpack and just the right conditions for that ski. So thank you guys for watching. That was a lot. Um, but just an absolutely sick day up at the bird. The whole experience is what made the bird from leaving early in the morning, skiing all day, you know, getting out of there, canyon closing. It's just like, that's like the quintessential little cottonwood experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of season four. I got a lot of cool things uh coming up that i want to be able to share with you guys soon but uh, uh thank you so much for having us in the next episode take it easy fam peace out yeah.